I tell you what guys, here in the city there is all kinds of hazards and my Brompton takes a beating. But today is a special day because this is the six month anniversary of me getting the Brompton. So in this video I'm going to talk about the things that have held up on the Brompton really well and the things that have not held up so well. Okay guys, I am headed out of the city. We're headed to the Front Range. I think I'm gonna ride along the Front Range. I don't think I'm gonna go into the mountains. But along the way, we're gonna talk about the things that have held up and the things that have not held up on my Brompton. So, we'll have a discussion while we go. Okay, for my six month anniversary with the Brompton, I figured we'd go on a nice autumn ride together in the mountains. I thought it was fitting. Now, first off, we're gonna talk about the things that have held up really, really well. The first thing is the frame, obviously. I was really worried about these clamps right here. Um, these clamps were something I was really concerned about. I was worried about if these crack in half, what's gonna happen? especially when you're riding down the road and if this breaks that's going to shift outward and not a very good thing <laughs> so i was worried about these clamps but the whole structure the whole body of the bicycle has held up really really well i was worried about this piece right here i was worried about it eventually coming loose and this whole rear end like shimmy in this this is no play in it whatsoever which is nice the next thing that's held up really, really well on this bike, which I am really surprised because a lot of manufacturers kind of skimp on this, and that is the wheels. Brompton did not skimp on the wheels. The wheels are double walled, they're very strong, and they stay true. For as much as I beat the hell out of these wheels, they stayed really true. Now, if you look at the brake pad and the wheel, you'll see no no movement whatsoever some people might look at that and say hey the wheel is hopping like crazy the wheel is not hopping it's the tire for some reason when you mount tires on there and if they don't seat properly they have a little bit of hop to them but if you look between the brake pad and the wheel you will see no lateral side to side movement and you'll see no axial up and down movement whatsoever and that is awesome considering as much weight as i put on this bike and as much as i beat it up I was worried about the gear, um, but the back gears, that's another story. But the front gear has been perfectly fine. The brakes have been really, really awesome. So all in all, guys, the main structure of the bike has done very, very, very well. Now let's talk about the things that have not held up very well or things that I think may need some improvement. The first thing that has not held up that great but i kind of understand because it is a folding bicycle so you're bound to have some wear points 
and that is this little gasket right here. I haven't had a problem with this one too much, but this one right here, I have to tighten this 10 millimeter bolt periodically because basically what happens is the seat will fall down. So if you see this line right here, that's how far down the seat has slipped, even just during this ride. I've adjusted the top part to compensate because I didn't feel like continuously adjusting this, but I'm gonna have to tighten this up yet again. This is the fifth time I've had to tighten this clamp right here because eventually I guess that plastic or rubber or whatever the heck that's made out of, it's probably some sort of plastic, eventually it wears off. And when it wears off, it allows this whole seat post to slip down. That is one thing that has not held up very good. The second thing that hasn't held up very good is the, uh, the rear wheels. As you can see, I have the easy wheels on there. Uh, the original Brompton wheels did not hold up at all. Eventually they bent and they were kind of wobbly and they didn't roll very well. So I ended up getting ones that actually had bearings. These are made by Brompton. They're the Brompton Easy Wheels and they do okay. The next thing that hasn't held up so well, which I didn't really expect it to hold up very well, is these grips. Now, as you can tell, they're wore pretty good, especially when you go down to the bottom side. So as you can see, your thumbs wear holes in them and eventually they fall apart and um, yeah you definitely get all kinds of wear now i know what you're saying guys you're like well six months that's not too bad brian this is the second set that i've had on this bicycle the first set wore completely through and now i got another set and now they're almost wearing through so no not in six months time that definitely is wore out a lot quicker than it should a lot of people upgrade the grips though with ergons and stuff. So like I said, grips are not something that I'm gonna complain too much about. Um, I like the Brompton ones. That's why I keep getting those. But for the most part, I'm not holding that against this bike at all. <laughs> kind of weird when you come to some isolated spot and then all of a sudden people start to flock there. I don't understand why, but it just happens. <laughs> it just sucks guys. I can never find a place where I can just come and be alone. There's always got to be somebody that comes right around where I'm at, you know? It's, it's so irritating. All the places in this whole place to go, and they have to come right where I'm at. All right, we'll go find another place, and uh, we'll talk here in a little bit. Okay guys, I think we found another secluded spot we could uh, uh, finish our discussion about the Brompton. All right, so where was I? Hmm. Okay, I think last segment we were talking about the grips and I was telling you how they wear down really quick and how it wasn't a big deal to me because most manufacturers' bicycle grips aren't very good to begin with. Another thing that seems to have recently taken a crap on me is the pedal. Let me show you what I mean. You see the pedal? See all that movement in it, up and down, in and out a little bit. Now in all honesty, I might have damaged these bearings because you see this area where the pedals strike. That's one thing I don't like about this bike is the pedals get too close to the ground and when you come around a curve real fast, you pedal strike. And I think what I did was I pedal struck the bicycle and I damaged the bearings in the pedal. Now I'm not 100% sure. It's either that I'm such a beefcake that I put so much pressure on these pedals with my legs that I damaged them just for my sheer strength or I damaged it when I pedal struck that one time. So you guys let me know down in the comment section which one it is. Did I damage it with my legs or did I damage it when it pedal struck? I don't know. Leave it down in the comment section what you think. Another thing that doesn't seem to last very long, at least not for me, is the chain six months that is my third chain on this bicycle the third chain 
this bike has probably got close to, let's see, I would say just out of a sheer estimate, I got about 5,000 miles on this bicycle. So I would think that the chain would last longer than that. I don't know. I, it might be these Brompton chains I'm putting on it. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to research and see if I can find something that's a little more beefier. But yeah, I go through chains like crazy, no doubt. And the problem is, is that when I'm ready to replace the chain, the chains get so wore that the back gears are wore. Now you guys got to figure that the, the back gear is under a heck of a lot more pressure. There's a lot more contact space around the front gear. The back gear, it's a little bit different. You know, you're putting a lot of pressure on those gears. And when these chain links get wore out, they start wearing the gears. If your chain gets to 100% wore out, you're pretty much going to guarantee you're going to need gears on the back of it. So with that being said, I've replaced two sets of gears on this. I've replaced two chains. This is the third chain. And I've replaced the gears twice on it because every time I go to check the chain, it's over 100% wore out, which means it's damaged the gears as well. So that's something to keep in mind. I did a video a little while back how to check your chain. Guys, in that video, I tell you, don't let your chain go above 75% wore. Okay, because once you let it get above 75% worn, it starts wearing your gears in the back. And uh, let's say if it gets to 100%, you're going to be replacing the gears and the chain when you go to replace the chain. So it's just added expense that you don't want to have to incur. And don't think you're going to get by with just replacing the chain. I tried that and guess what? Every time I tried to push hard on the pedals, the chain actually went over the gear. So that just tells you how wore they were. So they were definitely worn, no doubt about it. I didn't like having to replace the gears, but it's my fault. I should check my chain more often. Now, as far as tires are concerned, the first set of tires wore out pretty quick. These Schwalbe Marathons that I put on here have lasted a lot longer, but this is the second set of tires I've had on this bicycle in six months. So if that gives you any idea. The seat, this is a Physique. Uh, the Brompton seat for long rides is not very comfortable but that has nothing to do with Brompton. That has nothing to do with uh, the wear of the seat. That has nothing to do with the quality of the seat of the Brompton. It's just that you know how seats are. Some bums just do not take the certain seats. This one right here does fit my bum, does feel good. So I think this is the one I'm gonna be keeping on the bicycle, um, unless I find something better. Uh, this is definitely a lot better of a seat, but that's not a wear item. That's not something that hasn't held up. That's just personal preference. The only other thing really is uh, the shifter has been getting kind of funky. I know you have to stop pedaling when you're uh, shifting gears on this, okay? I know that. But there are quite a few times when I've stopped pedaling and I went to go downshift, especially when going up a hill, and the thing has not downshifted and I had to do it several times. Now Chuck kind of did some adjustments on this part itself. He kind of, you know, fixed it. It got, it got better, but it still does act up from time to time. He said he was going to order me a replacement shifter, but so far that's in the category of things that just seem not to have held up very well. But anyway, guys, for the most part, the bike has held up really well. I'm, the main structure of the bike is what I care about the most. The grips, the grips are not important. Um, just wear items like that. I wish I could find a better chain for the bicycle. I need to get a new pedal for the bicycle. So there have been some things that haven't lasted. Some of them are my fault. I damaged it and some of them are not my fault. It's just wear items. So in all honesty, I think for the most part, if those are the only things that I have problems with, I'll take it, you know, instead of having to replace a wheel or replace a main tube or something like that. Yeah, I, I'd much rather take those little bitty wear items, you know, put a better set of grips on here, maybe uh, get a better chain, and I think this bike would be 100% perfect. The riding I've done on this bicycle by no means has been easy. This bike has had a hard time. I've rode the living crap out of this bicycle, and I have put a lot of miles on it, and I put a lot of pressure on that drivetrain. So, in all honesty, six months having the little issues that I have had, I'll take it. I'll take it hands down. Besides a few minor low issues, I'm very, very satisfied so far with how the Brompton's been holding up. So yeah, me and the Brompton are going to finish our anniversary ride together, our six month anniversary ride. And uh, 
I got to get back to Denver because I got to go to work tomorrow, unfortunately. But if you guys have any comments or questions, leave it down in the comment and question section. Slap a like on the video if you like it, guys. And I will talk with you guys later. Bye-bye.